your man, Louis T. Welcome to the 2019 NFL Draft Prospects 101 Series. Your guide to some of the biggest and hottest names of the 2019 NFL Draft. We're talking wide receivers. And this next guy, I think he's a little under the radar in this particular draft. And for good reason. Um, there, there's some inconsistencies in his game and some things that you'd like to see him clean up. But when you watch him, and, and yeah, I think there are some things that remind me of some players that I see in the league. And, and I'll give you some comps a little bit later on. And, and one in particular that I think fits him to a T. Uh, but this is a guy that makes plays. And I think above all else, sometimes we get enamored with the numbers you know, height, weight, speed, specimens, all of that good stuff. And we forget about the most important thing. Are you making plays? Can I count on you in crucial and critical situations to make plays? And this next receiver out of NC State in Kelvin Harmon, most times than not, does exactly that. And yes, he plays for NC State. And so it's not like his team is the more dominant in a lot of these ball games yet. He's making plays. And so I'm fascinated by his game. There are some things that I question with him as we get to the next level. He, he can provide the answers for me. All right. And, and we'll find out very quickly if he's going to sink or swim at the next level. But one thing's for sure, he makes plays. And that I can get on board with. And so let's take a look at Kelvin Harmon and what he brings to the table as a 6'2", 221-pound wide receiver out of NC State. Three-year uh, starter there, 38 career games under his belt, 177 grabs for over 2,600 yards, 16 touchdowns, 1,300-yard performances in his career, with one of those being north of 200, and back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons to finish up his NC State Wolfpack career. So let's jump into some of his tape. We'll start in 2017 and then work our way into 2018. We start with a matchup versus Louisville. Remember, this Louisville team in 2017 was very good. This is coming off of the Heisman Trophy winning season of Lamar Jackson. And so they were highly rated. And this team also features a future first round pick in Jair Alexander. And in one of these particular plays that we'll watch, he goes up and gets the football versus Jair Alexander. So again, Kelvin Harmon is a competitor. Let's take a look at this game. This first play, nice adjustment on a back shoulder throw here as we look at him at the bottom of the screen. Ball is thrown on the back shoulder. Nice little adjustment there to catch that football. I like that, all right? And again, uh, as you will see on a lot of these throws, um, it's tight coverage. And he's making plays. Cornerback wants to crowd him at the top of the screen, uh, but, but no hands, and that's the thing. You want to come up, but you don't want to touch me. And you got to pay. It's cigar time, man. Smoke his ass. All right. And, and watch him drag. Watch the physicality. And you'll notice this with him as he drags this guy into the end zone. It's so hard to get this guy on the ground. He's such a big physical guy. I, I, I love the physicality that he brings to the table. As you watch this play here, he sits down in zone and makes this catch down at the bottom of the screen. Watch him be physical on second and 10 and get this first down, though. Three defenders there. And he wills his way into a 12, 13 yard gain for a first down. I like that. All right. So here, deep dig for Kelvin Harmon on third and 15, mind you. All right. In traffic, gets that first down. It's a nice catch there. I, I like that a lot right there. All right. Deep dig on third and 15. You sit down in zone, take the shot in traffic. I like that. And here, watch him go up and get this. I talked about Jair Alexander earlier in the game. Watch him go up and get this versus Jair Alexander. Give me that, man. You know what we call that? A GMG. That's all we got. It's a grown man grab right there for the first down. Yeah, give it to him. Um, if you're Kelvin Harmon, that's impressive. This next game, 2017 versus Clemson. This was a shootout. This was a fun one to watch here. Uh, right here, easy. Even we leaving in off coverage. Uh, quarterback takes a shot but delivers the football. Cigar time, man. Smoke his ass. And much like the last touchdown we saw on a deep ball, drag his ass into the end zone. Physicality. I love it. Want more of it. This next play, out and up versus zone after going in motion. So you see him come across the screen. Watch him go out, then go up. And right on the sidelines, he knows he's going to take a hit here, but still comes down with the football. It shields that away from the defender. I like that. Physical finish. Lows the shoulder. Watch him stay on his feet here. All this traffic and commotion. I'm still on my feet, though. Like, it's hard to bring this dude down. 
Nasty double move here. Broke the cornerback off if you're looking at this play. It's a nasty double move as he shakes free. This should have been a touchdown. Should have been cigar time, but um, overthrown by the quarterback. And, and he'll pay the quarterback back in the next game versus Clemson with a drop on an open pass. Look at this double move. To, oh, got him. Got him. Oh, got him. Dandruff. That's, boy, he got some nasty flakes there, man. Little head and shoulders. Nothing that a little head and shoulders won't take care of. Mm, that was nasty. Dandruff broke him off. Top of the screen here. Another double move. That's nasty. Oh, got him. And that linebacker, boy, I feel for, I feel for you. He really got you. Oh, that was nasty. And th I, that's not fair to ask a linebacker to have to do that against a polished wide receiver in the slot. That's really not fair, man. That's nasty right there. And, and you know, when I see nastiness like that, I'm disgusted because he didn't have to do that, man, like that. All right. Let, let's take a look at that again. Watch him, watch him, oh my God, baptize that linebacker who was just trying to get out into the flats and do something. Don't do him like that, man. Catch this with some toughness over the middle. And then watch him just turn into a runner now. Watch him be physical with the run after catch. That's a block in the bat right there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't bring my pass back. You know what I'm about to say. I'm nitpicking. Switch ball hands. But that's no here, nor there. Next play, game awareness. Game on the line. All right, 38-31. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I need it. He goes up and gets it on the sidelines. That's gorgeous. All right. Uh, and, and uh, look, so after that catch, we coming back to you, top of the screen, down seven. I need it. First and 10. Can you, do you have another one for me? Yes. If I'm Kelvin Harmon, I do. Another back shoulder, adjust to the ball, get out of bounds. He does that. That's, that's gorgeous, man. Game on the line. He's making plays. All right. Quarterbacks giving him an opportunity. And he's taking full advantage. Corner doesn't know where the rock is. All right, let me adjust to that thing. Make this catch. Stay by the sidelines to make sure I get out of bounds. There's a lot to like there against Clemson. Giving yourself a chance. Here we're still in 2017 versus Wake. Um, he, this is him pre pretty much unmolested through zone coverage. I think one defender might have laid a finger on him. But if you're going to allow me to run through your zone, fine, I'll do that. Let me pick up a nice chunk of change here. If you're not going to look, stays on his feet. All of that swinging around, grabbing me down by the waist. I'm still on my feet at the end. Tough dude to bring down. So he's just going to mosey his way through this zone. Again, if you're not going to really molest me through this zone, I don't mind if I do. A little, a little shove. Just You're just pushing me to where I want to go. Thanks. Appreciate that for the little boost to the rock. So, again, um, I, I like that. Nice, calm, and subtle run through the zone. Get the football yards after the catch. So, this next play, another double move, man. This dude is nasty on a double move. All right. Got him. And a nice catch over the shoulder. An, I got a little nitpick here. Stretch that over the pylon. That's a touchdown. Like, don't run out of bounds there. But look, first things first. Secure the catch. He did that. Look, break him off something. Mm, he's got dandruff. Yeah, go ahead. Brush that off your shoulders, man. We can see it. And then take this head and shoulders on your way out. Help you with that. Stretch that over the goal line, though, man. Don't run out of bounds at the one. Nothing is for certain. Nothing lasts forever, but until they close the curtain, is you and I. That's a touchdown, guy. Anyway, this right here, I need you to come back to the rock. That's incomplete because you didn't come back to the football. Don't stand there and wait on the ball. Come back and attack the ball. Don't allow that DB to come in and get that pass breakup. Here, third and 14, he's a wide ass open, and he dropped the football. Bruh. Use your hands. He tried to body catch this and he paid for it. Like nothing frustrates me more than the dude that's calling for the rock. I'm open. Get me the rock. Like I, I equate this to the dude that's cherry picking in basketball. Oh, oh, down court, yelling for the rock. You throw it to him and he blow the layup. Come on, bro. Don't do that. Catch the damn ball. You can't look. He called it for it. I'm open. Hey, coach, 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 get me the rock. And he throws in the ball. You be gets in the ball and you do that with it. Come on, man. Look that one in. Anyway, right here, this is another flat out drop on a deep ball. This one hits him in the face. I mean, you got to be pretty special to let the ball hit you in your face. All right. Um, I, I don't know if he saw the defender bearing down on him and he tried to catch it faster than the ball got there. There's no excuse for this. I'm not going to make an excuse for the man. All right. The ball can't hit you in your face right here. Like, th th boom, that, that can't happen. It, it just, that's inexcusable on any level. I don't care if it's a five-year-old.
don't let the ball hit you in your face. Um, that's disappointing right there. But this is a great effort here on a shallow cross on a third and seven late in this game or fourth quarter. So we're getting close to late time. Uh, third and seven though. I need it. Find a way. And he does on a shallow cross to get me 10 on a play that easily could have been, um, a uh, gain of five and you're short and got to make a tough decision. Kick a field goal to tie the game or do I go for it on fourth down? That, I took that decision out of your hands, got the first down. Here, we're now into 2018. This is versus Boston College. This is physicality without the football. Watch him blocking in the slot there. All right. Pushing that guy five, six, seven yards off the ball. I love it. One more of it. And, and, and again, with these receivers, you just want to know who's willing to, to work. Who's going to work for their food out there on the edges? You see him putting in a little bit of work there. Here, it's a nice little adjustment to the ball down at the bottom of the screen. All right. Quarterback being flushed out of the pocket, throws it up to you. Adjust. Make an, make an adjustment and come back and catch that. That's nice right there on the part of Kelvin Harmon. Um, I, I like the way he adjusts to the football. I like that he makes tough catches in traffic. Um, and, and this is another example of that. Guys draped all over him, got his hands on him. Ball's underthrown slightly. Go and get it. Go and get it. And that's what he did there. Help your quarterback out. And he did that on that particular play. So this next pass, this is good hands. Snagging the ball on the back shoulder throw here. As you can see, watch him go up and get this. All hands. I love it. Snatch that out the air. Get your feet down. And folks, guess what? That right there is a hell of a catch. That's not good on Sundays, though. Need you to get that second foot down, but that's a hell of a catch nonetheless. This next play, nice physical play here. And sets up shop. And I love the fact that he's able to make a physical play and move the stick. So I like that play. This one right here, he sets up shop on the sidelines. All right. Wide ass open. Gets both feet down. And makes himself an inviting target for the quarterback. Don't mind if I do. That's nice right there. That's an NFL grab. You see NFL receivers do that. Chill on the sidelines and get those feet down. Or as a wise man once said to me, get those puppies down. All right, get them down and make the catch. And that's a catch outside your frame right there. Make it. I like it. That's good on Sundays right there. This last one right here, this cornerback wants to come and crowd you at the line of scrimmage, but he don't want to put his hands on you. Then you beat him. You beat him like he stole something. All right, he stole from your mama. You beat his ass. And that's what he did on that play. You want to come up and challenge me at the, at the line of scrimmage, but you don't want to lay hands? Okay, well, then I will bless you then. I'll put my hands on this football and take it across the goal line for a touchdown. Don't mind if I do. Before the safety can get over there, I got this one. Let me finish. And again, finishing on his feet. It's a tough dude to bring down. I love it. So this next game versus Clemson, this was an all-out ass whooping. And you get beat by Clemson in Death Valley by a lot because of plays like this. Another nasty double move. I told you he got his quarterback back for the 2017 miss. Bruh, catch the ball, man. Come on. Don't do that. All right? A game of that magnitude? Don't do that. I need that. In any event, we move on to 2018 versus Syracuse, and he had a field day in this football game. This first one is on a third down and three. Watch him be physical and come back for the football on a third and three and make the catch with tight, sticky coverage. That's nice to move the sticks. You're down 14 at this point, too, so I need that. I don't need to punt and give it to them. They don't look like they're having any issues scoring. Here, it, this is a quick in and out and the, for the blow-by in the touchdown, as a wise man once told me. For the blow-by in the touchdown. I love it. Dude wants to come up, give him a quick in and out move, beat him like he stole something. It's cigar time. Let's get this seven, man, and stop playing. All right. On this next play, late separation on this deep ball. And I love the fact that you've got that, that, that late burst. And that's what you see here. Watch them. They're even at the time that that ball's getting there. And then he separates at the very end and is able to go and get it. Shoestring tackle. Nice one by the defender. Like to see you make him miss and get in the end zone. But I take the big ball there and a the big play. Here, you beat the jam off the line of scrimmage. Get on top of the cornerback. Stack him. Now, go make the catch and get some yards after the catch. I love it. That is gorgeous by Kelvin Harmon. Tough to bring down. You see that? He's stumbling, dude. Tried to get him. That's nice. And then on this last one here, this is a, a back shoulder bully time, all right? 
for the touchdown. Love when guys are just physical on the back shoulder fade. And, and that, that, there was nothing that that corner could do there. That's a great ball, great adjustment. And that's an NFL type of touchdown right there. You know, back shoulder bully time. And that corner stood no chance. And, I, you know, there's so many little subtleties to the game of Kelvin Harmon. Does he always separate? No. Is the double move nasty for him? Yes. And I, the first guy that came to mind when I was watching him was, was Nuke. I looked at him and I said, this is DeAndre Hopkins all day long. But then I, I had to reel that in because Nuke didn't drop the football, <laughs> okay? You, you can throw it up to Nuke in, in, in a lot of situations. Nuke didn't always separate the best. Kelvin Harmon didn't always separate the best. But he, he makes plays. Nuke makes plays. But the thing that you don't get from Nuke, you don't get these needless and senseless drops when he's wide open. It's tough to get Nuke to drop it when a dude is draped all over him. Nuke's got some of the best hands in the league. He's right up there with Larry Fitzgerald. All right. Kelvin Harmon is dropping too many balls. So then I had to refocus. I wanted to look for a guy similar size in that same range. This guy that I'm about to comp him to a little faster, but. They have the same kind of lapses in concentration with drops, but in, in a moment's notice, they can hurt you with a big play, with a double move, and hit you for seven like it's nothing. They can make tough grabs in traffic, make the impossible catch, and then drop the one that you said, come on, man. No, seriously, you're going to drop that? He's Demarius Thomas. I see a lot of Demarius Thomas in Kelvin Harmon. He's a big guy. He's physical, as you can see, tough to get him down. It's tough to get Demarius Thomas down. He's a guy that can beat you over the top. Don't mind. And, and I know Demarius Thomas was a legit, you know, 4-4 guy. And, and it may even have ran a 4-3 in the 4-3s. I think he was a 4-4 guy coming out of Georgia Tech. Don't, don't, don't allow the 4-6 that Harmon ran at the combine to fool you. This, you can, you can see this guy can run. Now, I, I, I'm not saying that he's a blazer because he's not, but he can run good enough. He's got to clean up some of these lapses in concentration. That drop versus Clemson. That, that's the kind of drop to get you blown out. You were already down 14 nothing. You needed a spark. I talked about him making plays and being a playmaker. We'll make a play. All right. Um, I like him a lot, though. Um, I think there's a lot here to his game, and I think he's going to help somebody. So uh, that's Kelvin Harmon in a nutshell and what he brings to the table, a wide receiver out of NC State. If you like this video, there's plenty of more where this came from. Subscribe to the Louis T Network for more great content um, on YouTube and also support uh, the Louis T Network podcast available on Stitcher, Google Music Play, iTunes, TuneIn, and of course the website louistnetwork.net. I'm your man Louis T signing off. Remember, if it's not your man T, it's not the best NFL coverage it could be. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.